G'day. Well, unless you've been living under a rock for a while, you've probably noticed that droplet size for spraying is a pretty hot topic at the moment. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a run through of one of the features on our uh, Horizon spray rate controller in conjunction with our Apollo ECUs that can help you to monitor and control your droplet size. So, I got the X35 up. Uh, if we go to implement boom nozzles then you see here you can make new nozzles you can add all your own different nozzles so i've got an 025 an 025 fence nozzle and an 03 what these do is they allow you to set your nozzle characteristics uh, for loading them easily later on so what you get when you make a new one the actual rate this comes off a uh, iso chart so you could say i want an 04 We'll just call it an 04 for now. Loads this in automatically. You can set the minimum pressure if you want. Job's done. So that's a basic settings. Just gives you the actual rate and the reference pressure. So what we can do further to that, if you look, we've got the minimum pressure. Down here, we've got show droplets. So this actually allows you to set everything from ultra coarse to very fine, the pressure range for each of those. So... Minimum pressure we had for our 025 was 100 kPa. So between 100 kPa, well below 200 kPa, it's going to be ultra coarse or extra coarse. We don't want to spray down that low. Very coarse is maximum pressure of 200. So 100 to 200 kPa is going to be very coarse. Uh, above that, we've got coarse in the range of, of uh, 200 to 400. Uh, 400 to 500 is medium and anything above that is fine. And again, we don't want to be up that high. Um, on our 03, that's another one I've set up. I just chucked the three ranges. Now those numbers, obviously you just read off a droplet chart. So you pick your droplet size to suit your nozzle and uh, chuck that in there. Now that's all very good. What we can do from there, if we open up our spray controller screen, if you go to the configuration panel, we get this boom option here. Now, We've said we've got 025 nozzles on this boom. I've only got a single spray line. So I've got 025 nozzles and I want a coarse droplet size. Now what this is going to do is it's going to throw up an alarm if I'm out of range. If I'm over applying or under applying based on droplet size, so if I've got a fine uh, or whatever, uh, it will actually chuck up an alarm and tell me that my droplet size is out of range. It'll still allow me to spray, but it'll give me a warning that I'm not targeting the uh, correct droplet size. Um, to find out what sort of speed range we can do and application rates, we've got this handy rate table here. Saves looking it up off the web. So if we hit that, we could say spray line one, it's an 025 nozzle, um, calculated uh, in litres a hectare with all sections turned on. You could see, now I'm looking for a coarse droplet size, so that tells me between 200 and 400 kPa I'll have a coarse droplet size. At 5k an hour, this is the application rates I'm going to be doing. So for my sort of 90 to 100 litres a hectare range, I want to be up around the 15 to 20k an hour. So that's a, um, sorry, down down around the, uh, where are we? Here we go, yeah, 65 litres a hectare to 92 litres a hectare is what I'll be able to achieve with a coarse droplet size at 15k an hour. So if I slow down, I can hit higher rates if I speed up. So that's pretty simple. Um, if we say we've got multiple spray lines, so if I come in here and say I've got two spray lines, I've already set this up to say I've got 03 nozzles on my second spray line. It's in auto switching mode, so we'll just choose what we want to see. If I come back out and go to boom, droplet size, still coarse, rate table. Okay, so we've got the same thing we were looking at before. Spray line 1, which is 025. If we turn 025 off and go to our spray line 2, now we can see course we get between 200 and 500. Um, so that gives us a really big 15k, at 15k an hour, we get a big application rate uh, possibility there. If we touch them both, then you can see what your range is going to be 200 to 500 with both nozzles on um, for the 90 to 100 litres a hectare will be up around the 25k an hour mark. So it's a pretty easy way to see 
exactly what application rates you'll be able to achieve with the droplet size you want at different speeds and that can help you to um, make a decision about the nozzles that you're choosing. Uh, if we don't have our multiple lines, so we go back to a single spray line, then in here we can choose, uh, today I've got an 03. And choose our coarse droplet size. And what's that going to give me? So you can quickly choose the spray nozzle you want to suit the job. And see all the rate information you need. So there's another handy Topcon tip from Wall to stop you spraying out your neighbour's grapevines.